Fucking run off, little girl. Fucking wolves and werewolves. All over the place. What is this? Dead pig? Okay. It's dead. But a pig here? Must be a human settlement nearby. Must. Get some mistletoe. Just because I saw it on the map. Maybe not even in the map, but I know I saw it. Cave, you lead. What do you mean? I'm supposed to be heading east, not letting this little girl lead us through crazy caves. It's a bit dark, afraid. Are you? No, then I'm not either. <laughs> you go, little girl. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That sounds scary. Hey, what? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? I do. Hide! Oi. Werewolf. that taking all your things boy you really give him a drubbing never seen anything like it go you can come out now come on could have at least got her name you know so you found this corpse in the woods you're lucky we came this way found someone far less fortunate in the forest must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but Yaren there. The little one. No details. Mm-hmm. Alright, so we gotta get to this village. We have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I've I've not missed, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even uh -huh. reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Okay, so that's how she met up with the Baron. I got you. Some bread and cheese. Wine and what looked like beans later. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? That You're not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very, thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten, and you could do with some sleep. Great care mm -hmm. in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I. Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. This is bloody barren. Surprisingly nice. So I, I ordered my men it. to watch her and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. Uh, no. Alright, well, what about the little girl? The little girl who showed up here with Siri. What happened to her? Gretka. She's safe and sound. 
helps out in the kitchen. Siri told me of the girl's parents, what they decided. So I decided not to send the lass home. She's fed here. A roof over a warm corner she calls her own. She wants for nothing. What happened to Siri? I've told you already. A topic for another time. God damn it. Alright, I get it. You want me to save your wife and save your daughter? Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife mm -hmm. and daughter are missing as well. Yeah, yeah. I'll get it. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. And how can I trust you? Thing is, Although that can I trust does, you? Painter is a really nice guy. <laughs> None whatsoever. Only my word. Hmm. Alright, well, what if I refuse? What if I refuse? Because I just don't want to. Would you tell me to sod off? Go ahead, but then I'll tell you the same. And what'll that make us? Two helpless, empty-handed sods. Think of it as searching for your own daughter. Ought to go quickly, then. When do you see them last? They vanished <laughs> after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. All right, well, this seems like a dumb question because I'm sure he has, but... You try happy? to search for them? Sent men out right away, but they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard-to-find nooks. If you're looking to hide someone, this is the place. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I'm sure you have them, but maybe they were kidnapped. Your enemies. Got any enemies? None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any of you might have. I've been eating dirt long since. Hmm. All right, well, anything unusual? Anything unusual happened before they disappeared? They act differently. Do anything strange? Unusual? No. Well, not long ago, peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well, devoured another last before her. Common occurrences in Velen. And my women, mm -hmm. Anna, quiet as a mouse as ever, and Tamara, occupied with her things, nothing unusual. <laughs> One involved father. This place. Must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? What do you mean? They wanted for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner? Not a problem. Blue ribbons from Toussaint? Say the word. The beer? Had your men in mind. Their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? My men are a horde of horsons, but they know their place. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, I'd cut him down like a dog. Hmm. Oh, well, I need more information. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. Like a scent, probably? I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Well, all right then. Then let me work. Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. Fine, whatever. They're gonna give me a bit, because I gotta do my thing. Anything to take? Anything good here? Hmm. For a series room? Yeah, we're doing that.
When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? <laughs> Ooh, you see it there? Oh, oh, what's a trophy? Oh, oh. I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Yeah, that's great. You white one. Look like you got soused last night too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't get soused. I did have a shot of vodka earlier, but I want to say that's enough to get me soused. So Siri was here. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. Mm-hmm. A book. The Natural Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Bredevoort. Where'd Siri get this? Is that a top? A spinning top. Quick as toy. Alright, so inventory. Oils. You have a blade oil in your inventory. To use it, apply it to your sword. Go to oils. Select an oil using left stick and press A to choose it. Then choose and confirm which sword you wish to apply the oil to. Alright, well, we're not going to do that just yet. Unless you're going to make me do that for tutorial purposes. Where's the oil? I don't see it. Can we just read a thing instead? I'd rather do that. All right. Philip Stranger, your supply problems do not interest us. The pact we signed was clear, and the Empire of Nilfgaard demands you fulfill its terms. If you do not, our mutual ob obligation will be rendered null and void, and your privileges will be revoked. Sincerely. Havar Vat Var Moen Field Marshal Army Group Center Command. Alright, whatever. I'm not seeing this thing. Is this it? No, that's not it. That's not an oil. Don't see this oil. Don't know what we're talking about. Let's read this book. To my dear friend Philip and Anna from Count Le Gerve, Minister of Culture for the Kingdom of Temeria. Whoever thinks curses are only manifestations of one's ill will towards another is sorely mistaken. Shockingly commonplace are reports of curses cast unwit unwittingly on oneself or on objects in one's immediate environment. The consequences of doing so can be difficult to predict. In many cases, they lead to harm or even the death of the person affected by the curse or of the people the people spending time with the object or being on which the curse fell. That is why it is so essential to take pre excuse me, preventative measures to safeguard oneself as thoroughly as possible against the casting of curses. As an absolute minimum, Madame Amelia... Vera Cruz Leon recommends cleansing oneself of all negative thoughts, striving to be one with the world, and achieving harmony beyond body between body and mind. All right, I got it. Cool, and then the top. That's fine. Mm. He's gonna leave that. The dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they have friends in high places in Vizima. I'm gonna pass by the kitchen real quick. I am, and you're Geralt. How do you know? Uh, Does she yeah. hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf? Siri told me about you. Hmm. What else did Siri say? You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? 
we did. Did she say where she was going, or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you, and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder no. if she helped that friend of hers. Sorceress? I mean, what friend? Siri wanted to help a friend. Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Her friend. She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Probably the elf. Anyways. Do you know where she is? Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask no. where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. Mm -hmm. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Oh. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well. Don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Anyways, we found this Look thing. Familiar. This top. My top? Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. I'm actually here for a while. Anyways. Thanks, great girl. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Sure sounds like you're playing. Don't mind me. Anything else? Yeah. Well, Thanks, Rika. Like Have screaming fun. For help. I'm not playing. I'm helping. I got it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to loot here. Okay, we're done. We're done in this area. Oh. Spoke too soon. Alright, now we're done in this area. Switch it back over to the quest here. Family matters. Yeah, follow the Baron. Okay. Do another one of these. Hello. I was here the whole time. You white one. Looked like you got soused last night too. What is this? There it is. Damn it! Jammed again! Our bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. Incense. Try not to make a mess. Key. For their Nobody return, unlocks. I want everything to be as they left it. Anise. Sandalwood. And something else. Saffron. Letter for tomorrow, okay. I mean, I'm taking all your stuff, dude. There's no question about it. All that stuff is mine. Hmm, damn ugly for a doll. The kind you'd stick with pins to hurt someone. A voodoo doll. Oh, shoot. Let's read that letter. Let's see inventory. Alright. We are more like a family. We support each other and help each other survive through tough moments. Grapple with the past. For each of us has a past. So you needn't worry about anyone digging into yours. We've got a rule. Never ask more than, someone's, than someone offers on their own. The past doesn't matter to us. The only, only the future does. That and our common fight against evil and depravity, against perverse and loathsome practices of all kind. Hmm. Okay, so she's got some sort of past. She probably wants to cover that up. I have to guess. Just a guess, of course. Can I? No. Okay. Fine. Could use some hair of the hound. Got any vodka? 
No, I don't have any vodka. It's not anymore because I drank it. Uh, shit, bear has vodka. Right, before we click the red stuff, we're clicking. See, yeah, I'm gonna steal your stuff, stuff. Whoa, secret passage. Wonder if the Baron knew about that. That would be unfortunate. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Devoted, that's for sure. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. It's just me, it just sound like someone was choking. Where's that secret passage? Right here. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. Uh oh. That painting? Right size. Which painting? Oh, that painting. Hmm. The Baron and his wife. Hmm. <laughs> Look happy enough. Happy enough being the key, I guess. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole, and what's on the other side. Uh, there's a chest on the other side. Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm, fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Yeah. That's what I think. Definitely a fight. But who? I don't see any blood. I imagine he would have seen it, right? What your senses would have seen blood. Scratches here? Uh oh. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Okay. Is that invisible huh. blood on my Rest team? of the candlestick. And wine stains. Somebody smashed uh, a bottle from Tucson. Yeah, Erveloose. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Oh, now I see the stains. Oh. Okay. Make sure I didn't miss anything else in this room. You white one. Look like you got south last night too. Done poking around. Talk to you. Uh found this doll. Found a doll in Tamara's room. Tell me about it. <laughs> what could possibly be so interesting about a doll, Witcher? It looks a like it might have been used doll. for some sort of black magic. Where'd Tamara get it? Black magic? Are you balmy? I made it for her. No. She was I'm four, girl. perhaps five winters old. We were in Vizima on market day, and she saw the sorceress, Triss Merigold. Oh. Insisted she must have a doll just like her. Couldn't afford a thing of that sort, so I made the doll with my own hands. Yeah. This is Triss. No offense, but uh, not great with your hands, are you? <laughs> what are you talking about? wooden rags. See what image of a grown woman you can come up with. Mm. Oh, I have to keep looking. Can't help thinking I've missed something. Need to take another look. Use some hair of the hound. Got any vodka? Oh my god, no, you drunk. Follow this down. Damn, trail breaks off. Could find something else though. Oh, mm. Spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is. Against what? Won't find much else here. Wait, but what about the smell? <coughs> oh, I thought it led me in here, but I guess not. Oh, 
one more down. Alright, let's keep looking at that. Well, bring out the gimp. Make the gimps. Well, I guess you'll just have to go wake him up now. Taking all of these things. Yeah, boy. Free stuff. Oh, there we go. I knew there was one. Oh, two more. Come on. Let me get at that loot. Am I supposed to even target this bottom one? Carefully, maybe? Nope. Alright. Alright, you get to keep your stuff because you're being a real pain in my butt and I don't want to deal with that. Alright, one more try. One more try. Get it, get it, get it, Master A. No. That wasn't happening, guys. Sorry. I hope there wasn't something amazing in there because it wasn't coming out. Let's follow this trail. Excuse me, a little detour. To puke or not to puke, that is the. Uh, no. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'll drink another, then. Fuck the innkeep. Okay, guy. Again. Oh, look at all this stuff. It's so great. I love free stuff. That everything? Oh, there's a box way down there. Two boxes. Oh, I got one. Can I get the other one? No. Alright, we got a scent coming from in here. I didn't want to. I wanted to unlock the store. Oh. I did it. Alright, where's this? Sort of shrine. All right, let's read that. See a prayer. Read for information. Eternal fire, which lighteth our heart and give us giveth us light, heat us with thy warmth. Dry our tears, burn our foes, embrace our friends in thy care. Give my mother health, punish my father, give me. Help me fulfill my destiny. Oh, it's not sound like something a happy little girl writes. An altar. So, the eternal fires made it to Velen. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go see the Baron. Let him know about the voodoo stuff happening in his house. Stairs. You guys are gross. Don't 
Done poking around? Uh, yeah. There's some signs of well, actually, start with the wine. Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads must be. Lush is one and all. Give your men hair of loose. Mm. Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. What does it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Mm hmm. Well, what about the fight? Found signs the room? of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Don't play dumb. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by oh. the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Or what about Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna yeah, was no, to see her, she'd her. choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Mm-hmm. Well, let's go see this Peller. I want to have a chat with this Peller. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say mm -hmm. he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. <laughs> Use some hair of the hound. Got any vodka? Oh my god, no. Get a move on. Is this the exit? No, that's not the exit. Excuse me, Baron. Uh, hello. Rude. How do I get out of here? Here we go. I wonder if I can talk to that old man again. I don't object to your white mug. Actually, I wonder where. What are you doing? Where are you chopping this? I'm fashioning a new model. Two weeks. What's got meant to you again? Right, and see. Just need to join these with the rivets. Hey, isn't this? May I assist you? Oh no. I'm looking for a master armor. Looking for someone who can craft me some armor. Gotta be top quality. Well, I've been out of 20 years now. Mastered the craft in some respects, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you wish. Don't listen to her. <laughs> She's been sore lately. Snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? Light, but durable. Can't constrain movement. And I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. That all? Sure, it shouldn't be self cleaning. And how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. Could it? Sounds mm. great. Can you make a suit like that? No, but find someone who can and I'll gladly meet them. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor if it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordoroch used on Undvik. Joanna, I told hmm. you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Undvik for his armor. Said Tordoroch folk made the best. Till last year, uh -huh. when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. 
Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools. But only then. Man, what kind of angle is that? I don't want to stare up his nose. Alright, well, where's this forge? These legends mention where the forge might be. Yes, north side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Alright, well. Look I'll find for the it. tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now. Has to right now. assist you? What do you got? Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Alright. Let's see. We're selling this. Yep. We're selling this. Selling that. Oh, nope. Wrong thing. He doesn't want any of this. Yeah, that makes sense. Probably won't want it either. Talk to his wife. How can I help you? Hi. Yeah, tell me more about that accent. Interesting lilt in your voice. You originally from Skellige? Odd Skellig. Spent my whole childhood in Holmstein. Why'd you leave? Always had a liking for the smithy. I'd sit there all day taking things in. The heat of the furnace, the smell of the hot steel, the pounding hammers. At 17 winters, my dad told me he could teach me no more. Sent me out there into the world, bid me to hone my craft. A few years on, I had my master crafting papers. Then the war broke out, and I landed here. Hmm. Okay. What do you, well, you have for sale? That's good. Ah, oh, same stuff. If you want different things, though. Yeah, no. All right, we're done. Bye. Take care now. Boy, lads, fancy an outing to find that sure. sheep beast. Been the Smiths, lass. Gap tooth one. Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. We've gathered ourselves quite the collection. Why let such nice things waste away in peasant hoods? Okay, what do you sell? Show me what you got. What is this? Gwent cards? Okay. Blunt crossbow bolt. So something tells me that these crossbow bolts, you make them and then they're not forever, you know? Anyways, I will take this map. That's the third one. I already got the first two. See if I can't sell something, make that money back. Uh. What would I sell? I know I have some broken things in here, right? Broken rake or something. Where is that? Not exactly seeing it. Is it like over here or something? No, I guess it wouldn't be there. Probably an other, yeah, other. Here we go. Yeah, sell that rake. Boom, already made the money back. Sell that mug. So the candelabrum. Sell that casket. Goblet. Mm -hmm. Butter knife. No, I'm not selling that. Don't know if I want to sell those yet either. Sell these razors because I'm not going to use them. Broken oars. Hmm. No, we'll keep those. Sell these pipes. Not going to use them. Silver candelabras. We're going to keep those. Alright. See ya. 
Bye.